Hey guys, uh, back with another video. This one is just going to show people because uh, a lot of people have been asking very generally, sort of, you know, oh, Game Maker works with Android, how can I get it to work with Android, and that sort of thing. Um, you do need to have the Game Maker Android module in order to actually publish to Android, but as far as I'm aware, you can actually test on Android without uh, buying that module. So you can see what your game is, is like as an Android game, and so on and so forth. Um, I have the module, so as, <laughs> but, um, as far as I know, you can you can do this regardless. But um, how you set that up? Um, first of all, you're gonna want to get the Android SDK, uh, which you know you can Google and download the Android SDK. And uh, from the SDK manager, you're gonna want to make sure you have a few things installed. First of all, you're going to make sure you have the Android SDK platform tools. Um, the latest version of Android, it's Android 4.2 as of this video. Uh, whatever version is on your device, if you know. Um, and you also need version 2.1, uh, 2.2, and 3.2. Um, I mean, I don't know, if, it doesn't make sense to me that you need all those different versions, but. Um, as far as like the instructions from Yo-Yo Games go, those are the ones that you you need to have. And I know Game Maker complains specifically if you if you don't have 3.2. So you get all of those installed, and then you can move on to the next step. Now, depending on your specific device, there may be some playing around you have to do in terms of getting drivers installed and getting uh, getting the SDK to recognize and find your device. Um, but that goes beyond the scope of what I can cover. I had to do messing about myself to get my Nexus to work and to get um, my HTC phone to work. But um, those things you'll have to sort of Google and kind of you know work out for yourself. I'm mostly just talking about the game maker specific side of things. Uh, once you're done setting up the SDK, we can close this now. Uh, we can go to File Preferences and go to Web Server. Now, in here, you don't need to do anything with these web ports, those should be set up okay by default. But over here, you need to set uh, your local IP address, and that's your local IP address, not your internet IP address. So it should probably start with something like 192.168. Um, if it starts with something like 80 or 70, it's probably your internet IP. Um, you can find that by a, a, you know, a ton of different methods, um, one of which I'll show you now. Okay, so if you're on Windows uh, and press the Windows key and R, um, it's called my second monitor actually, over here, you'll get this little box come up called Run, just placing the Windows key and R together, and if you type CMD into this and press OK, you'll be greeted with a little CMD uh, command line window. Now in here, if you type ipconfig, um, and then sort of you'll probably have to scroll up a little bit depending on how many adapters and things you have. Um, you can see your IP address in here. That's your local IP address, um, and that's the that's the number that you need to put into um, into Game Maker. Uh, weirdly, mine is actually set to sixty eight and not seventy. So um, I'm confused as to why mine works anyway because it does. I tested it a second ago. But uh, we'll set that back to 70 anyway, just to make sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, you need to s just set that to be whatever your local IP address is. Okay, so after you've done all that, there's just a few little extra settings you need to go and set up in Game Maker Studio first. So you go back to Preferences and go to Android. Um, you need to set up all of these different things. So first of all, you just need to type uh, the address of wherever you installed the Android SDK to. Uh, you'll also need to have the Java development kit um, downloaded and installed, but uh, when you download the Android SDK and you run that installer, it should prompt you itself to get this installed, so you, you should already have that installed as well. Uh, then, in here where it says private key store file, uh, what you need to do is basically uh, fill in some information in here, um, like a, a file name, uh, an alias, a uh, common name, and so on and so forth. All of these options um, are explained on uh, the YoYo -Yo Games wiki. You can go there and look at that. I've just got some fake temporary stuff set up here with just Sean JS in the common name section. Um, they're, they're really all not that important if you're just testing your game and stuff. 
All right, and um, yeah, I don't mind doing that. And so yeah, that'll show you some stuff. Again, I'm not 100% sure what this is all about. It's more important for when you're actually publishing uh, publishing your game. Um, once you're actually doing that, this stuff is quite important and you want to keep track of it and make sure it doesn't change and all that stuff and make sure no one else knows what this stuff is. Uh, all this stuff here is just temporary for me at the moment though. Uh, if you click check Android SDK, um, it'll tell you that it can find your SDK, your Java DK and your key store and everything is okay. Um, this button's super useful and it'll tell you, um, it'll give you big red text here if any of this stuff is missing or not set up. So yeah, once all that's set up, you can click OK, and from then that point onwards, assuming your device is plugged in and everything, um, you can more or less just hit play, and uh, that will basically compile the game and run it on your Android device.